Um, okay, so what's different about this callus from what we often see is that um, it's uh, here's your fifth metatarsal head, here's your fourth metatarsal head, so it's actually under the fourth instead of where we usually see it on the fifth. So when people have a high arched foot, they get a callus usually here and here under the big toe joint and then on the heel, and that's where they carry most of their weight. Um, in your case, this fourth metatarsal head must be sitting a little bit lower, or maybe it's a little bit too long. We'll see when we look at the x-ray okay. why it's getting all that pressure. So, I think this is so funny that this is unusual. <laughs> all right, so what we're going to do is just going to start trimming off some of this dead tissue here and it shouldn't hurt number one because you have neuropathy but number two because it's, it, so, um, thick. it's so thick yeah. Yeah. Right. anything I'm doing hurting? No. Okay. <laughs> Except for every once in a while. I look at your film guy and his eyes are going, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> My girlfriend's uh, sister is a nurse, mm -hmm. and she had uh, some surgery on her foot. She came to see you. Oh, and yeah, she don't say said, name on the video. Oh, I'm sorry. No, just don't oh, yeah. say name. But go ahead. I can edit it out. That's fine. So I did her surgery. No, that's all right. I don't need it. Now, was she happy with it? No, you didn't do the surgery. Oh, I didn't. You were doing something after she found out about you then. Oh, I really liked you. I know exactly who you're talking about. Is your name mm -hmm. Oh, wait, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> That's okay. I'll, I'll edit it out before this goes on. No. Um, no, I was very happy I was able to help her. She had a, a surgery and the incision yes. came apart yes. and it just wouldn't heal. Yeah. So we got it to heal. That's good. She really liked you. Oh, thank you. Because the sister had gone to another doctor and then. Um, Said, you should tell Dana to go to this girl or this doctor, this girl. Okay, I haven't called worse, whatever. <laughs> I'm not going to call you anything while you're doing this to my friend. <laughs> 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 Only nice things. Just keep it going. Right, that's what an ulcer is. That's what an Wow. Yeah, it's caused usually by pressure or friction rubbing. Wow. And the, so the center part, like right in here, if your callus gets too thick, the skin will just break open. And Can you tell by looking at it that we're close to that kind of thing? Or would you see like bleeding, like you dead blood in it? You could. Okay. You can see bleeding into the callus, which is very common with diabetic. Oh, okay. But um, this one's pretty good. This one looks okay. Doing okay. um, exactly, and that's why we're looking at I never realized that. Yeah. Or so I wondered how people get an ulcer on their foot. Right, and especially with diabetics, it happens because they don't feel that the callus is right. getting too thick. It doesn't hurt. Right. So I knew this was thick. Yeah. I didn't know that people did stuff about. And for, frankly, when I talked to my doctor, I was like saying, you know, people are cutting my toenails and things. I want to make sure that everything's sterile and whatever. That's what she had told me about that yeah. other place. And, hmm. 
I just the more I have this child. And my girlfriend is pretty She's good. She's like, oh, great. So that should feel really good now. And I don't have to do anything. No, because there's not no, no open. open. So can I ask you, like, how many acres did you take off almost? I don't know how to answer that, <laughs> but I'll let you take a look at this in just okay. a second and you'll be able to see. And then I'll show you how to pack the shoe or to help yeah. keep the pressure off it and keep it coming back. Right. And then this, yeah, for this up here, this little crack, mm -hmm. just relax your foot over here. So this then little relaxed. Yeah. <laughs> So this little crack right here at the base of the toe, yeah. oftentimes we'll see that when someone's got a little bit of some athlete's foot and um, it'll make it kind of callous and then it just breaks over. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll have you put a little athlete's foot clean okay. on that. Now let's get these other ones on the left foot. I have to look at this. I can't not. Oh my gosh. I don't remember when my foot felt like that. Yeah. Wow. So our goal is Wonderful. that we want to keep it wow. we want to keep it much closer to this. Okay. And then these aren't nearly as bad, but we'll trim them. This is in the same exact location. Um, so that mainly you think is from the pressure my, the, or my arch of my foot, mm -hmm. the way it lands. The because you have a rigid, high arched foot. Yep. Mm -hmm. And so this is just where you rigid. carry your weight. It means it doesn't that, collapse very much. That sounds much. like me in general. <laughs> <laughs> Rigid type A personality. I guess my husband will love hearing that one. I do feel rigid though. I feel stiff like mm -hmm. because I can't control my feet really. I feel that I do kind of keep them. All right. Well, there's another option that we can talk about and that is that I do foot mobilization work. What's that? It's where we just get everything moving again so that these feet that you feel like you're walking on blocks of wood, we can get the joints moving that you've been holding very stiff and get you doing some stretching and strengthening exercises so that your feet move better. And that's, you know, that's just kind of something I learned how to do. I don't think you'll find any other podiatrists in the country that do it. Um, I'd love to hear it, what it is. Yeah, well, it's just, so what we do is we set you up with a series of nine appointments over six weeks. So twice a week for three weeks and once a week for three weeks. And we have you come in and I do, it's, it's sort of like a combination of chiropractic, physical therapy, osteopathic. We, I just get some stuff moving that hasn't moved in a while. And a lot of people will say, it feels like I'm more connected to the ground now. Really? Right? I can tell that my feet are moving better. Yeah. And so that's something we could talk about if, if you wanted to schedule it. Uh, like what kind of things would it be? Like this kind of thing? No, it's where I do it. So oh, I would, you're manipulating Right, I'm feet. manipulating your oh, foot. So interesting. you want to go a little wide there. So, you know, I can take it and, and do that. Did mm -hmm. you feel that just give? I heard it. Well, I did too, but... Or we can I'm get so your midfoot. Yeah, we can get your midfoot moving. So it's kind of like an it's kind of like pressure kind of thing. Or chiropractic. Almost. Yep, we do some mobile, you know, some manipulation and mobilization. Let's see if this one will. Yeah. Now these are we gotta get them moving a little bit first. <laughs> Next thing yeah. she's gonna say is like. Never met anybody so no, no, no. stiff. No, absolutely not true. So I've done it on people for heel pain. I've done it on people for bunion pain. I've done it on people for arthritis pain. And almost everybody, of course, I can't say everybody, but almost everybody feels better after going through it. Okay. And then I, the idea is that we make it longer and longer apart after that initial six weeks. And then eventually you come in once or twice a year for like a tune-up. Oh, yeah. So um, okay. I can't hmm, I can't show you on your shoe. So I'm going to show you on your foot. Okay. How because this line this doesn't come out. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is we're going to take um, a little pad. Go ahead and put your foot. It's like up. a moleskin thing. It's kind of like a moleskin, but okay. it's it's thicker. 
And so, and, and you can, I'll give you some of these, you can put them on your mm -hmm. shoes because you can feel mm -hmm. on your shoe, you can feel right where that prominence made a depression okay. in there. And so what you're gonna do is we're just gonna put this around it. And if you put it on your shoe, you don't have to put it on your foot. But now when you walk, this bone right here is not gonna get so much pressure. Mm. Okay, and then if we put this on the shoe instead, then you don't have to worry about keeping something stuck on your skin. Right, right. Okay. And so again, it's not going to make this go away. Right, but it's it not going to pressure. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, that's interesting.